Dear students, in this unit we will talk about unicorns. Unicorns are the most diverse group of protists. It contains almost all types of protists. It contains plant-like protists. It also contains animal-like protists. And it also contains fungi-like protists. Now, it is very unclear whether these unicorns were separated from eukaryotes early or at the later stages because th this huge diversity has made this unicorn group very controversial whether it was a one group or it was a mixture of diverse groups of different uh, protists. Now, two main group clades are present in this group. One clade is called amoebozoans and the other is opistocorns. These opistocorns contains animal, fungi, and related protists. When we talk about amoebozoans, amoebozoans are actually the amoeboic protists that have lobed or tube-shaped pseudopodias. As you are aware that pseudopodias are not the actual feet, they are the extension of cytoplasm of those protist animals. Now, this group includes slime molds, gymnamoebas, and ant amoebas. When we talk about slime molds, initially scientists place them with the fungi. But with the passage of time, because it has fruiting bodies, their mycelium, just like the fungi, but later on, the DNA sequence analysis has indicated that slime molds, they descended from unicellular ancestors. Now, when we talk about the amoebozoans, most of them, they are free living and they belong to genus ant amoeba. Those, those amoebas which are present, which are the part of ant amoeba, they are actually parasites, while the other amoebozoans, they live freely. Now, these ant amoebas, they infect almost every class of vertebrate animals, including humans. Now, humans are host to at least six species of ant amoebas, but one of them, like ant amoeba histolytica, is known to cause disease in humans. Now, opistocorns, eukaryotes, they include protists uh, which are fungi-like, which are coenoflagellates, and animals. The roots of these eukaryotic uh, tree remains very controversial because they all are related to different classes of living organisms and it is very much unclear whether they originated from the same ancestors or they are grouped uh, as a result of different ancestries. It has yet to be decided and the research is going on more and more evidences are being collected to prove its ancestry.